Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm hoping that I'm gonna stay in frame today. I'm kind of close and got my cord right here next to me. So wait, let's move to that side. Stick it in my drawer. So hopefully my drawer will um keep it keep me from knocking you guys around. Uh, sorry, I'm all over the place. I haven't made a video in a few days except for the one this morning. Uh, so I'm going to do the Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge. I have no idea what week this is, but my prompts this week are something blue, something red, a stamp, newspaper, and mushroom. And this is put on by Lori at Enchanted Dream 71 on Facebook. And also, hello gorgeous. I hope you are all doing well today. And um, it is the Saturday after Thanksgiving, and so I hope you all had a very grateful Thanksgiving or and a grateful week, whether you are in the United States or not. Pokey little puppy. All right, so got my list here. So I have something red and something blue here if I need it, but I think my something red is actually going to be this strawberry. So because you know that pokey little puppy in here, I might as well bring him elsewhere in the book. So I've got his little brothers here and sisters too. So I thought that could be a direction that I go. Um, I love that this one's actually interactive. I should do some more like that. Let's see. I've got a lot of in-between pages that I can fill out. That might be a good one. This one's got a couple in between before this one. Um, let's see. Oh, they're all in a row. That might be a good place to just... Although I don't mind if he's like there like that at the end. So, okay. We'll leave him in case we don't need that page. And then we can just have that bird in there being pretty. So... Yeah, we'll do them there. Here, here's a good place as any. Now, I don't have any newspaper. So I have either this mailer. We can probably show them the address. Um, I have this mailer, or this kind of looks like the ads part of the newspaper. So I thought this might work. Um, this, I'm not sure, because it's just like so, I don't know, it's kind of dirty looking too. I don't like the colors, but let me see if there's any part of it I could, that I might want. So far, I'm not, it's, I don't even like the feel of it. All right, I'm going to use this for newspaper, because I don't have any newspaper, but newspaper does have an ad section, and so this is the closest thing I have to newspaper. And then something blue, that's pretty easy. I've got tons of blue stuff all over my desk. So blue is not a problem, and then something red is the strawberry. Um, and then a stamp, that's pretty easy. I've got stamps right here I can pull from any of these stamps right in this box here. And the mushrooms, I pulled out. I couldn't find any of my fussy cut. Oh, there's that spider again. Come on. Oh, oh fine, you're dead now. You could have lived. But no, you have to keep coming back into my area. I let them live that one time. All right, so these ones are clear ones, and these ones are washy ones. But I can figure that out when I get to them. Like I said, I could not find any of my uh, fussy cut ones. And I didn't feel like going upstairs and getting my computer and figuring out something to print. So, let's make our background, people. Oh. And I just, I was, what did you guys do over Thanksgiving? We didn't do much. Um, I made Thanksgiving food for people that live in my house. We didn't go over where, anywhere or have anybody over. And in order to spend time with them upstairs, since my craft art studio is downstairs, I went upstairs to spend some time with my dad and my husband and my boys, or Nathan, because... Joel was working, which you know if you watched the last video. Where's my other ruler? So I was collaging upstairs. So I had my box of collage stuff. And, whoops, brought that downstairs. Sorted! 
assorted. So like these are like all bigger pieces. And I've got some smaller pieces which are probably totally all over the place. Those are some pieces I collaged. That I'm gonna probably might do some more collaging today. I haven't made a dent in my scraps. Despite the fact that I have all these collage pages. And I have like, oh yes, the whole thing tipped. Okay, the smaller collage pieces. See, medium. So, and these are also like the bigger collage pieces. And I have a little envelope with like really small collage pieces somewhere. But yeah, I attempted to sort things. And I was looking earlier because I have printed out some German newspaper. But yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't find it. Of course, because even though I sorted stuff, doesn't mean I can still find stuff. But since I'm in here, let me just grab a couple things that I could stick in my back room collage. But I don't have some grass. Uh, these I got off of uh, Two Silver Oranges, so she's still having her sale. Go. She has a bundle of like 700 images. They are French and they're... Um, you know, reg French uh, ephemera and some regular uh, English or American or whatever, you know, uh, ephemera. And uh, she just scanned them. She didn't do anything else to them. So if you purchase that, you actually are able to use them in um, digitals that you sell up to a certain amount, which is like a thousand uh, per, per um, project. So that's where these came from the French ephemera part of that big bundle and when it was on sale it was $23 even when it wasn't on sale 700 images that I she scanned that might not be online otherwise was pretty pretty cool so I was pretty excited about that oh there we go this is from a German newspaper so there we go I have my newspaper with no guilt <laughs> um, I put a little bit of that in there Although we have blue, right? Blue and, well, the strawberry is red, so that can be my only red, and I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not going to use that because it doesn't really have any blue in it, and I've got to use something blue. I'm more looking for some different color, some regular, plain. Ooh, do I need that? This is... Uh, Jamie Parody, when I won her giveaway, it came wrapped in that. And I've been using it a few different places. Um, but that would be fun to use because if I've got that out outdoorsy z thing going on. Ooh, and that's the right color blue. Maybe we'll go with a lighter blue. I'm used to going with the dark blue, but I don't know. Maybe we'll go with a lighter blue today. I'm afraid no matter where I set that, it's going to fall and empty out. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got enough for the background now. So this is, um, oh, these are just all, um, these are what I did the last couple days, just collaging. Uh, oh, these were from the, um, the thing from Two Silver Oranges Jessica Wrap as well. Oh, I gotta glue some corners down. I went through one big glue stick and five full file folders some Monopoly money, some gel plate, um, and yeah, so this is just, and I was being pretty random about it, sort of trying to, I mean, I usually have a couple going so that if I have a grunge one, I put it on that, and if I have one with like pink and greens, I put it on that, and then I just started, um, yes, my back hurt, or I would have got more of these done, but I was I figured I would just go ahead and collage some envelopes and then decide what I want to do with the envelopes later, whether whether they become pockets or envelopes or whatever. But these I did, I know, if you came to watch the collage, I apologize. So when I put this in a book, there'll be pockets here and then I'll cut off either the edge or the top and there'll be a pocket on the um, side or the top. And then this one's an envelope, so I've got a little tuck spot here, a little pocket here, a little pocket here. And then what I think I'll do is I will cover here and then make it a flap on the um, page. Or keep that, oh no, well, yeah, because it's open there, so 
yeah make that a flap and then there's another envelope that's just that little tuck spot here I think I glued that down there glued that down so yeah we've got a pocket and a pocket and a tuck spot so that that's what I've been doing the last few days of course being upstairs I don't know where my other my other ruler is as far as it doesn't matter I'm just gonna use this ruler it's okay it's all right all right, officially, this can be my newspaper, right? That's what it said when I got it. It said it was from a 1800s newspaper. Although it's talking about something happening in 1608. But, you know, in 1622. Oh, maybe it was older than the 1800s. Maybe that's why. 1596. Maybe it's obituaries. I hope it's not obituaries. 1594, 15, I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's what I've been using for my my German when I want some something easy for some collage. I mean, now I have actually have pages from a, a German book, but yeah. Oh, the things that we buy not knowing what they are. So I think, oh, this still has, this is the glue I was using with my fabric. When I was doing my fabric cover, which I will be doing a video showing how I did that little, um, I can't show it to you because it's already sold, but, um, there was this little, well, there's a flip through of it on my channel, but it's a kind of like a collage fabric cover and it was a travel notebook size for the most part. I mean, it might have been a little bit smaller is all. I don't know if, uh, uh, no, yeah, a, 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 a purchased TN insert would not fit, which I put in the description, but it was my mom's cousin that bought it anyway, so. So I made her, uh, as a thank you, I made her a tag that had my mom's handwriting in it. I thought she might like that. Because I have my mom's journals, and some of the things that she wrote were not were not super personal. Like she had like uh, Bible verses that she wrote and stuff. So when I want to use her handwriting for something, I just tear out some of the Bible verse parts, and some of the more personal stuff is eventually going to get shredded or burned. Because I know some of it she would not want people seeing. Right, I'm just going to go to the top of that because I think whatever I put on the bottom is going to be. It's, you know, my pictures on the bottom might cover it anyway. I think is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to need some more to fill in here, aren't I? So anyway, I don't know. I might be talked out. I didn't talk much. Oh, one thing I wanted to know. I mean, it's fine if you do it. I just don't understand it. Why do people, like on Instagram, they have their little videos. And for ambiance, doing their paper crafting, they light a candle. I don't understand this. Does anybody else understand this? Because I definitely do not understand this. I don't understand why you would have a candle near paper. Maybe a fake one. I mean, I don't know. I, I know what would happen with me. I'd end up setting everything on fire. I'm too klutzy for that. And every time people do it, I'm like, oh, please don't start a fire. Especially when you're recording. It's hard to pay attention to every little thing while you're recording. As well as, you know, oh, let's make sure we don't start a fire here. So, I mean, nothing against you if you do it. I'm just like, why? Why? Why do you do it? Why? I don't understand. It just seems like paper and fire are not a good combination. All right, what else can I rant about? <laughs> I don't really need to rant. We have our literal people on, on online, don't we? The people that are like, oh, let's see. Oh, I think it was in Lindsay, the frugal crafter, in her comments. And she was talking about Black Friday. And there was the one person 
that was like, well, technically Black Friday isn't about sales. It's about stores going from being in the red all year to being in the black. And I'm like, yes. And the way they do that is by having big sales to get people into the store so a lot more people will shop. Um, I don't know. I'm just... I don't know. People... I don't know why people feel they have to school people, you know? I mean, sometimes I do it, though, so... <laughs> I can't say I don't understand. I understand too well. Well, sometimes you just have knowledge and you want to share it, I guess. Maybe that's all it is. And, of course, you know, we don't know their tone. They're probably just very innocently just saying, well, this is what it really is. I just want to make sure you guys know, you know, kind of deal. And we're, like, hearing it in a Karen voice. You know, and it's not. <laughs> oh, we like to add Karen voices. Sorry to all the nice Karens out there. I have my sister-in-law's name is Karen. And she is one of the sweetest people you would ever meet. So I'm not sure why the Karens of this world got that name. I mean, it would have made more sense if it was um, Nellie or uh, what was Nellie's mother's name? Mrs. Olsen. I mean, then it might make more sense. Wouldn't Mrs. Olsen make more sense than calling people a Karen? Because that's basically what they are, right? They're a, uh, a Mrs. Olsen. Let's do that. Let's just change it to a character, not a real person, but to a character that was overly uh, exaggerated, we thought. Then we, like, realized, oh, no, there's actually really people like that in the world. Oh, my goodness. Harriet. Harriet. They should not be Karens. They should be Harriets. That's what her name was, right? Harriet Nelson. Pretty sure. Yay, I got my black, that black ground, my background. Oh, what can I put over in this corner over here? A little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Does that cover it? Almost. I'm not sure what's going on with that big long strip down there. That it, there's my palette knife. Yesterday I was using my finger to do this and I was just like, ah, uh, yeah, let's just wait till I have a palette knife next time. But much less messy and easier to spread than with your finger. I'm trying to get away from my uh, obsession, not obsession. It's sometimes with collage, we like everything to be all rectangles and squares, but sometimes if you just let it go however the piece is or rip at an angle or whatever you'll find that there's actually quite a lot of interest when you do that and it still looks good oh glue 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 schmoo what else I need a little something down here so let's do that and it's more blue yay we like blue. Blue's easy. And I could have done more red, but you know, it says something red. So I thought the strawberry might be cute. So I didn't really want a, like a red, red, white, and blue kind of thing going on. And then I ended up not using the dark blue anyway, so there's that. I always go to dark blue in my head when I think blue. Couldn't tell you why. But I do. Nice and sticky. Yay. Not sure it's worth my effort to try to get more glue out of that. <clears throat> Let me do get a... Oh, what a water main pipe burst up our street yesterday. So we were without water for a little while. Not for too long, but... <coughs> Excuse me, my husband has to stress out over it. So he's like... So I was like, well, why don't you go to your sister's and get water? Which I didn't think we really needed water. But, um, sorry about that. I didn't think we needed water, but it would give him something to do, you know? In about 10 minutes after he got back from getting water at his sister's, the water came back on. They said six hours, but I'm like, well, they're always going to stay longer than what 
they actually need. All right, we got him, which is straight. He's on a hill. He's kind of coming down the hill. So there's our something red. And we got our puppies over here coming down the hill. And we need a stamp and some mushrooms. So, well, it's a train. I try to save my trains, but I also know I have plenty of trains. But I know I'll want them sometime. I just want a color, some colors that might... It's brown. But you never know. Oh, that one, because I got the brass on there, that one might work nicely. A lot of cars. Cars don't really work. What, Hallie? Do you hear her meow? I don't know. What, she, what time is it? No. Yeah, nay, she might want to eat lunch. Hmm. Do I want to do any more right on here? Maybe. Hmm, how do I feel about that color? All right, let me just find at least three. Maybe. I mean, you know me, I don't care. It can be an even number for all I care. Purple's not going to work. Not for me. Not this time. Um. Jack London. It's hard. You've got so many stamps, you got to go through them all. Because I don't have them sorted in any way, shape, or form, do I? Well, here's a flower. A lily. Well, I used to have all my flowers in one spot, but then they gave up. I'm not sure where they are now. Part of someone's face. Orange. Or I wanted to go orange. I don't want to be blendy. I know. This is a long... A lot, of, a lot of time going through stamps, isn't it? Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. My collage, I'll do what I want to. I like those ones that just a number. I don't love the ones with people's faces. I mean, some people's faces, but like the ladies. I don't know. I don't mind the ladies' faces. Is that weird? It's, it's the slave owners. Those are the ones I don't love. I don't love those. Where am I going to use them? Nobody wants them. Ooh, another flower. Too bad I don't have like a bridge. And let's see, what is it? Palomel. Uh, they go over a bridge, through the grass. I don't remember. All the places. All right. If I do a red one, I'm going to have to do a third red thing. But although their tongues are pink. I don't have to do a third red thing. I can do whatever I want. I can even just do that one stamp after all this torture. Oh, I did have a that red stamp too, didn't I? Let's see. I don't care for those orange ones so much. I think. Let's see. Oh, I was thinking about putting those two there. I don't so I was thinking about using them at like where things come together in a corner, you know what I mean? I still gotta figure out my mushrooms too though. Anyway, mushrooms, 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 mushrooms. Let's get those in. It's doing it again, isn't it? Oh, I need to tighten that part. Tightening the wrong part, I think, is my problem. Ooh, I know, probably lost half my people now. Oh, my goodness. See, you miss the mess when you leave early. Or when you skip to the end. Skip to my loo, my darling. Let's see. 
see if I can find some different ones to put around. Hopefully, hopefully the puppies won't eat them because I don't think any of them are are edible. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. My and I don't have a problem with my mushrooms being much bigger than my puppies. Especially if they're near the front. Alright. I actually could use my mushrooms as my hey I kind of like that all right I'm gonna keep that there that stamp right there let me see that stamp right there I don't care about the other stamp so much it just says a stamp so as long as I have that one stamp I think I'm good so yeah I don't know why for some reason I want that stamp there Go figure. Oh, this is the one that's, that I used up. Okay, so there's my stamp. Oh, let's put this mushroom down so I can put my boys down. My bo oh, they're girls too, probably. Pokey's puppy's little Pokey, his siblings. Which, I don't know, I think they says he through the book. I can't remember. For Pokey little puppy, I mean. Name is Pokey. Could be a girl or a boy. Oh, come on. Alright, let's put them down. Let's find a glue that I'm not going through the. Alright, let's just use our art glitter glue since that's what's easily available. I mean, I need to clean the tip really badly is it just gross I don't know how many more weeks left of this I have like I said I haven't I guess I could count them but I'll do that after I guess but I'm not you know once I'm out of prompts I know I'm done and there's still a good amount of prompts in there so still got a little bit of little bit to go there which is it better to do to try to pull off the soft part or the these aren't too hard to get apart I think I got these on Et well, Etsy Amazon I mean you could probably get them on AliExpress as well they're just washi mushrooms um, but yeah, they're from overseas. Deco stickers. I don't know. I just looked up washi mushrooms and that's what came up. And they're kind of fun to use. They've been sitting there for a while though. They haven't been getting used. I need to use my stuff. So I may have a journal or two coming up where I try to use washi stickers like a little more than usual just to use them, just to remember that I need to use them. I'm gonna be, let's see, I'm not sure what I'm doing this week. Um, either gonna make ornaments, wood ornaments, paint them, or and or do a journal, like one of the covers that I did, go ahead and um, do it, decorate it, and do it on, um, you know, sew in the signature and decorate it and stuff on camera. I don't know if I should, I don't remember, I was like, well, I could do the, uh, the cover that I made that I showed you guys how to make, but I don't remember which one that was. How sad is that? How sad is that? See, I'm using these mushrooms to kind of help my corners, you know what I mean? So that my corners are not all, where they all abut up to each other. Seemed like a good place for the mushrooms, interspersing them throughout. His little tail sticking up. He's so cute. And then, because we have such a neutral background, the puppies really do pop, I think. I don't mind the word pop, Carrie. I like the word pop. Was it Carrie that didn't like the word pop? 
I don't know, but Pam doesn't like the word juxtaposition. I love the word juxtaposition. Ooh, what word was I using today that was like, ooh, I like that word. I can't remember now. Uh, oh, it started with a V. Oh, man. Now it's going to bug me. Um, I don't know. It's a random word I thought of when I was leaving the grocery store. So, do we have all our prompts? We have our mess. Do we? <laughs> Let's see if I can think, remember them all without looking. If I can't find the thing. Okay, so we have something blue, something red, mushrooms, a stamp, and newspaper. So, this was technically it's when I when I purchased this it said it was newspaper so I got it at dreams time because I wanted some something I could play with in collage and then we have these lovely bits from oh I covered the flower oh well from um Jamie parody that she had made and then I think this page here I couldn't tell you it might be pink monarch prints or it might be Manu designs or it might be market cross and that's just some scrap paper I got from somewhere and some book page. And then, yeah, the washi stickers and a stamp. There you go. That's it for today. This is my Enchanted Bingo Collage Challenge for today. So I hope you all have a delightful day. And uh, I did a little chat, car chat this morning. So you get a bonus video today after having a few days with no videos. So, yeah. All right. Love you guys. Bye.